Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. Rick here and today we're going to have a look at how to find trigonometric functions on the Canon FX605G calculator. To do this we'll be using the sine, cos, and tan keys that look like this located here as well as the shift key looks like this located here in the top left and the x squared key that looks like this located here. Now all these examples will be using degrees so the first thing we want to do is make sure our calculator is in degrees mode. You can see that it is if there's a D in the top right corner here. If there's an R or a G you can change that by pressing this DRG key here. Every time you press it the letter will change so it goes to R to G and then to D. So make sure you have that D up there. Alright so First for the basics, if we want to find the sine of a degree, let's say sine of 30 degrees, you enter the 30 on there and then just press sine and you can get a 0 0.5 which is the sine of 30 degrees. Same thing for cosine, let's say we enter our 30, press cos and you can see the cosine of 30 degrees is 0 0.8660, etc. And for tan, same thing. Place the 30 on there and press tan, and we get 0 0.5774, etc. We can also find the cosecant, secant, and cotangent of a number by inverting the results of the corresponding function. So for cosecant, we first find the sine of the value. So for our example, we'll do sine of 30. There we go, there's that 0 0.5, and then we invert it by pressing shift x squared with the shift function of x to the power of negative 1, or x inverted, and this gives us 2, which is correct, the cosecant of 30 degrees is equal to 2. For, cos for secant, we use cosine, so 30 cos, there's what we got, inverted with the shift x squared key, gives us a secant of 1.1547, etc. And for cotangent, we use tan. So we press 30, tan, there's our tangent, and then inverse it with the shift x squared again, giving us 1.7321, etc. We can also find the arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan on this calculator. To do that, we use the shift sine, shift cos, and shift tan functions. And what this does is allow us to go from the, say, 0.5 we solved for back to determine how many degrees were used. So if we place the 0.5 on the screen, let's say, and then press shift sine, you can see it gives us 30 degrees. For the arc cos, remember we got rounded 0 0.8660, so we place that on the screen. Press shift, cos, and this gives us what would round to 30 degrees. And for tangent, the same thing. This one gave us 0.5774, so we go shift, tan, and again we get what would round to 30 degrees. Alright, I hope this is helpful, and good luck on those tests out there everybody.